Hey guys, Dan here. Today we talk about FSR. It's a new feature of the latest iRacing patch. I'll quickly show you what it is, how to use it, and what you can gain in FPS using that. Okay, so what is FSR? It stands for Fidelity FX Super Resolution, and it basically is an upscaler. AMD themselves say it's an open source high quality solution for producing high resolution frames from lower resolution inputs. So if you want to know exactly how it works, just Google FSR. There's version one and version two. iRacing uses version one. I don't know, maybe we'll get version two in the future as well. Should look even better. Basically, iRacing renders the picture at the lower resolution and then upscales it to your full native resolution. It looks pretty good. There are several quality options. I'll quickly show you in the game how to use it and what I would recommend. And also at the end of the video, I'll show you a few benchmarks and uh, yeah, you can see if you want to use it or not. The FSR obviously works the best when you're in a GPU limited scenario. So especially at the starts, for example, um, where you're mostly CPU bound, the effect won't be as big. So it's mainly like, for example, situations later in the race, you drive alone on the track. Uh, this is where you get way higher FPS. Okay, so while this is loading up, by the way, it is uh, from AMD, but it's open source and it works on basically any GPU. I don't know about super old GPUs, but in this uh, system, I use an NVIDIA card and it works just fine. So it's not only for AMD users. I heard people say that it works better on AMD. It looks a bit better, but uh, I don't have an AMD card here, so I cannot verify that. All right, so we are in the game. What you want to do is go to options. No, we don't want to calibrate. Then go to the graphics tab, and then you see it here, resolution scaling. You need to make sure that you have some sort of anti-aliasing enabled, so um, FXAA or SMAA. I use FXAA here with four samples, works good enough. And then when you go to the resolution scaling tab, there are five options, like disabled, so that would render a native resolution, and then ultra, which looks the best. Quality, balance, performance, performance looks the worst. And then uh, all the settings in between. Oh, and by the way, because I forgot uh, saying that, you need to restart the game after setting the FSR levels, otherwise they will not take over the settings. So make sure you always reload the session. I don't really recommend a specific setting. It depends on your resolution. For example, the quality setting, I think, renders at 66% resolution. So... On 4K triples, that would mean it renders 1440p triples, and that obviously gives you a much higher frame rate. It looks good enough to me. I don't... Wait, what setting do I use right now? The quality option. I think Ultra is 80%, quality is 66%, um, but I'm not exactly sure. If you have weird bugs happening, like, for example, your virtual mirror being, like, not in the middle anymore, it has some problems when SMP is enabled. Um... So by the time you watch this video, maybe they patched it. Um, but as of now, I would recommend disabling SMP. In the first build, when you had SMP enabled, you would have like black screens on the side. Uh, now they fixed that, but now still the virtual mirror is like not centered anymore. I don't know. I, can, I can't probably show it now because yeah, I don't have the controls. Wait, what are we missing? So here, see the mirror is over there. If you have bugs like this, just disable SMP in the monitors tab, then it works fine. But like I said, if you watch this, uh, it probably has already been fixed. So my observation from using SMP is uh, at 4K resolution, at like using 4K screens, quality and ultra looks pretty good. It doesn't look as good as native uh, rendering. You will especially see it like, well, for example, if you look for straight lines or like guardrails that have a lot of straight lines, like for example at Interlagos, the pit exit, you can see it very well there. It will start to flicker in the distance because the image is upscaled from a lower resolution one. Um, if you specifically look for it, especially at the lower quality presets, you will notice. Um, but honestly, while driving, I don't think you will notice that. Um, so if you struggle with frames per second, try these settings out. The increase in FPS is very, very significant. I'll show you my benchmarks that I did. Keep in mind, this is um, SMP was enabled for the case where I did not use FSR since then it's, you know, it's not buggy so I can use it. And when I use FSR I had to disable SMP. So once they fix that and you can even use uh, SMP together with FSR, well then the performance increase will be even bigger. So let's go to the comparison tab here. So this is the reference benchmark I did with no uh, FSR enabled, so just my standard settings, 58. 
average FPS. That is very low, yeah. Um, but it's also like triple 4K at pretty high settings. So that's just like to be expected. And if we go to the ultra setting, which is the best looking FSR setting, we can already see like the average FPS increase from uh, 58 to 72. I use the quality setting right now, which I'm pretty sure like corresponds to 1440p rendering at 4K resolution. And my average FPS go from uh, 58 to 85 already. There's also like the balanced preset and the performance where you can get really, really high uh, boosts in performance. I'm pretty sure that performance renders at 50% native resolution. Back in the first build, when you had SMP enabled, you could see the rendered resolution pretty well. Um, performance is not the setting I would recommend. To be honest, while driving, while you're immersed in the game and you basically try to drive quick and not look too much <laughs> at your surroundings. It's not that noticeable, but if you look for it, it kind of looks bad. Yeah, Performance kind of looks bad. But again, if you are on a lower end setup, this can help you a lot. So play around with the settings a little bit. I'll play you a video after this uh, with all the settings where you can see the comparison. In the end, just try it out on your system and see if you, if you like the visuals using FSR. Some people hate it. Some people are like, I don't see a difference. So it could be free FPS for you. At 1080p, for example, I don't know if I would use FSR since the resolution already is pretty low. Um, but just try it out. Especially the the ultra and the quality presets look really nice to me. I, I decided that I will go with the quality preset right now, which definitely looks better than running these screens at 1440p, what I used to do using the internal upscaler of the TV. So for me, this is a nice feature, nice gains in performance. So check it out. Let me know your results, if you like it or not. And I hope this video helped you. If it did, maybe subscribe to the channel, like the video, and maybe leave a comment. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.